My name's Nick Pittman. I'm a biopharma specialist for waters in Northern Europe. And it's my pleasure today to welcome Sam Ippoliti. Sam is a senior scientist in our scientific operations biopharma group in Milford, Massachusetts. Hi, Sam. Hey, Nick, thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. Sam, you recently published a, a brilliant application note about the Waters Ironhance Iron Exchange MS solution. And in that application note, you show how we can directly couple Iron Exchange to the BioCord Smart MS system, giving Iron Exchange MS data without the need to fractionate. Can you tell us why are people starting to get interested in Iron Exchange MS? Well, you've already actually hit the main topic there. It's uh, the not needing to fractionate. Um, you're used to getting your charge profile with um, traditional IEX buffers that are not MS compatible. You'd collect all those fractions, maybe do a buffer exchange and re-inject them to a system that is compatible with MSPEC. Um, and that's a lot of work. So uh, people are really getting interested in cutting out the middle step there and uh, having your same charge profile, but you're able to see some MS identification right along with it. Okay, that sounds that sounds really good. Uh, and so, what does the BioCord bring for to bring to the table for, for this kind of work? Well, BioCord um, it's a decently new instrument um, released January of last year. Um, it's very easy to use. Um, it's compact. It's um, there's not many parameters to deal with when you're looking at the mass spec part of it. Um, so method transfer and method development are pretty easy, and mm -hmm. um, Best part is it's all under Unify software, so it's compliance ready. So it would fit in, uh, let's say, manufacturing and QC environments. Okay, so yeah, so you mentioned compliance, you mentioned method transfer, and you, you see this technique being appropriate for both development labs and for QC labs. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a great example of where it could be useful, really. Um, you have the, the UV uh, chromatogram for chronotation, which is what people in development and QC are used to. But then you get the added bonus of, of MS identification. So kind of kind of the best of both worlds in that sense. Yeah, exactly. So just to play devil's advocate then, why wouldn't I just make those buffers up myself? You know, why would I bother to buy those from Waters? Well, it's a good question and I'm glad you asked because we've recently, well, not recently, but we found that um, working with these types of uh, reagents, um, the quality actually makes a huge difference in the data quality that you get out from the analysis. So um, using high quality reagents and um, actually avoiding glass has been a, a huge, um, huge deal. So when we're making these up in the lab, I'm guessing that you're using a glass pH probe, most likely. Um, so, you know, making these buffers up could actually take hours if you're trying to avoid the glass. So um, when we have the concentrates, you're able to just sort of dilute and Put it on the system and go. Right. Okay. So it sounds like some uh, some pretty big time savings as 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 well as just generating that that right quality of data. Then it's really good to see that. So the direct coupling of iron exchange and MS is, is now available uh, as a as a viable and reproducible solution. So people can save time and uh, and better characterize their their biomolecules and, and presumably not just on the biocord system either. So thanks very much for talking to us, Sam. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. To see more, we'd like to invite you to follow the direct link to Sam's application note, which is attached to this video. 